Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana, but on here I go by The Modern Sim, and today I will be going over my favorite creative sim creators for my male sims. And I also will be quickly showing you guys how I make my male sims, not a super in-depth tutorial or anything like that. And in addition to showcasing my favorite CC creators for male sims, I will be giving you guys a sim dump. I will go more over this at the end of the video, but I am going to be putting up three sims for you guys to download and add to your game and i will show you guys how to put them in your game if you don't know like if this is your first sim dump and you don't know how to put that in your game now if you're looking for what i use for my female sims i do have a video already made i made this video a couple months ago going over that um i will say that there are a couple more cc creators added to that list since then but for the most part like it's about the same so if you're wondering how i do my female sims and what i use for them i will go ahead and link it up above for you guys but without further ado let's hop into create a sim okay guys so before I get into the CC, just in case you're wondering what background I use in the lighting for Create a Sim, I would go ahead and link that down below in addition to all the other CC creators and the Sim Dump information. I'm going to go ahead and link that with that just in case you see the cast background and you want to use it because it's definitely different than my last video. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this is Dean. This is one of the Sims up for Sim Dump along with Kendrick and Orlando. So starting with my skins, I use the skin tone pack by La Matisse. It's called the Bear Skin Tone Pack. They also do have one for occults. I don't use that because I don't have many packs in my game that have like the occult. I have mermaids and aliens and that's only because they come with the expansion packs of Get to Work and Island Living. But other than that, I don't use them. I used to solely use the um ones from ea and whatnot and they're not bad but sometimes they can look a little um dull and whatnot i'm sorry he looks really good okay i'm sorry <laughs> sometimes they can look a little dull and whatnot they have a lot more color and variation to them i just feel like they blend in more better a little better and they also make the sims look a little more lively because the ones from ea can look a little dead now for skin blends i have quite a few skin blends in my game i like to switch things up i don't consistently use the same skin blend for every sim but like my base one that i naturally gravitate towards is the thuja skin blend by i believe Niz nazuri he's not currently wearing it but i really like all of um Missouri skin blends because they don't do too much to the face like they're just I feel like they're really subtle sometimes especially for my male sims a lot of times I like how they look without the skin blends and so sometimes I want to add a little bit more detail to them so I'll just put a skin blend on to maybe smooth them out or whatnot but for the most part this is my go-to one the male skin blends that I use from Northern Siberian Winds are a part a, of a like collection and they're called the Male Journey cartoon style genetic set. I'm not a big fan of alpha skins personally. I think they're cute on other sins, but for me personally in my gameplay, I'm not a big fan of alpha skins. I want them to kind of look cartoony like the base game. So I love to use this set. It has a bunch of different variations so it can you can drop in like skin tone and like it adds an extra level of shading and things like that. I personally put this one on Dean because like I said earlier I, I don't like to put like really heavy skins on top of them especially if I like how they look without any skin blends. Actually let me see what he looks like without a skin blend. Yeah he doesn't look like he just looks fine so sometimes I like to add it for a little bit of shading. So this is why I like this one. This creator also has like two different versions so they have a full body one or just a face one so for the face one it won't change like what's going on with the body so like let me show you take his shirt off real quick this is what he looks like underneath with just a skin face mask on top and then this is what he looks like with the full body skin on him it actually gives him like abs and a chiseled frame or whatever but like i like to use this one sometimes i don't sometimes i just use a face mask but like if you don't have i don't have any body presets in my game for male or female and i like to use this for the male male ones that i want to look a little more like muscular and things like that so that's what i use i do love to use these this like spotlight effect for like better shadowing and things like that on my sim so essentially this just like creates a more shadow effect on around the nose and like 
under the like jaw i like it because it makes my sims look a little more like three-dimensional and then i also use these miscellaneous details by ok rue and it just adds a little more dimension so like this one gave him a, a two-tone lip in a way but like there's a lot of things that you can do with this one I just like to add it because it gives like a little more character and details to my sim. And then I also have another one. It is the collection of skin details by Nazuri. They're, they're called the little details. You have a variety of things like um, forehead, contouring, and stuff for the eyes and whatnot. I also use blush on my male sims. I don't add like an extreme amount where it's like oh my gosh. Now sometimes you can look at my sims and be like yeah they got that blush on but without it this is what his, he looks like. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad or anything like that but I just like adding that little extra oomph you know what I'm saying to his face. So also do you have like this collection of these masks to put on your sims so like they're like lip, nose, and mouth. No. Lip, eyes, lip, nose yes eyes nose lip mask it's by sammy xox and i just add that to like give my sims like some variation even with like a nose preset that i might use or whatnot i just give them some variation i'll show you the eye one i have one on him already but this is what it looks like i don't use all of them because some of them do look a little like i don't <laughs> this is too much for me you know what I'm saying so i won't use that on them but It just adds like different eye shapes to the sims that might get otherwise erased if you use a specific like skin blend skin uh yeah skin blend that like may come with like a, a eye shape for the skin blend this is the lip mask i don't use this one all too often but if you want a more realistic like alpha look then that's perfect for you but i don't actually use this too often I believe that's all for skin details so now I'm gonna quickly go over my presets so first things first I'm gonna start with my eyes I have quite a few eyes in here but my default eyes are actually by I think it's F S F J or something like that SFJ and I use their September version 2 eyes let me open his eyes how it has like that little like sparkle you know in his eyes I really like these eyes I used to use another version by them as well I don't use any eye presets I pretty much just use what comes in the game and then like I'll adjust them and then for nose I use the ones by Symbionts these uh, nose presets by Symbionts because it adds like variation to the nose if you look at all of the other Sims nose they're all um, how do I say this specific to a specific audience if you know what i mean so sometimes i want them to look a little more ethnic if you if you catch my drift like <laughs> if you know what i'm saying so like sometimes i'll i love to use these symbionts ones i also use um the ones from obscurus i think this is actually the one i use for him and yeah for the jaw i also use these ones from my obscurus if i don't use the base game ones i'm using one of these three so and i just like it because it has a like that structure that i feel like sometimes can be missing if i'm trying to create a specific sim and then for brows i use the twisted cat male brows um it's like a set of them i used to use the other ones by twisted cow i still do them i still use them and i'll link those as well but my favorite ones for the male sims are those specific ones for male because they have like that bushy eyebrow look that like just gives males like not super like manicured i guess but that is it for all of my you know presets i don't use too many like i said i don't use any body presets or anything like that like i just keep my sims like i use a lot of the like the stuff that the game naturally comes with so moving on to hairs i have quite a few male hairs in here and as you can see they're from the same few creators so the first creator i would like to highlight is c production i use them for more like um black sims I really enjoy these hairs. <laughs> he kind of looks like Dwayne. These are my first like black sim hairs that I ever had in my game. So there's that. There's uh, that's C production. 
The next creator I love to use the hairs is OK Rue. I use them for both my male and female sims. Is there any more OK Rue hairs? I know I have, yeah, I'm gonna say, I know I have some more in here. And just so nice, like, ugh, so it's nice and sleek. Another sim creator, as you can see, that I have a crap ton of their hairs in my game is Johnny Sims. And there, they have like really good male hairs. I think they're like, they pretty much do male hairs. Like, I think that's pretty much all they kind of create. Not all of it, but you know, a lot of majority of what they have out on their, um, of the creations that they make is these male hairs. And I love that they give us like the variation of like wispy versus like structured. So this is like a version of this like wispy. Ooh, okay. I like that. Sorry. Where's you this wispy and then this one's more like more tamed, I guess is the word. I don't use all of their hairs because some of them do look very similar to other ones. But this Johnny Sims is definitely my go-to for uh, male hairs. My next favorite male CC creators for especially like black sims are is um, Shea Butter. You can't really, I feel like you can't really see it. Let me give him a different hair color. There we go. Next we have Sims Trouble. And they have a lot of variety in hairs too. Okay, cute. Very pretty. <laughs> another one that I love, I don't have too many of their hairs in my game, but I, another one I do love is Wistful Castle. The These hairs I would say are more like fantasy. So like, you know, like the hairstyles that you might see like fantasy characters in games and stuff like that. That's what it more feels like. This one gives me like Lord of the Rings type of thing. Like he could be like a hobbit or something like that. So, and then some honorable mentions that I don't use too much, but I love them is Ashima. So let me give him a brighter hair color so you can see. Like this hair is so cute. Like I think I'm gonna create a male sim using this hair. Like I, I have, I have an idea, but yes. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this eats, you know what I'm saying? But like, I gotta, I feel like they're, that's more for like my artsy male sims, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't created them yet. Another honorable mention is Khadijah551. I use like two of their hairs for my black sims. And this is like my favorite, like fade hairstyle. Like it just, oh, it's so good. It's just so good. But I have this one that's like a slick back braids, you know what I'm saying? But like, it looks really good it looks really good but this one is nice too this is like a twist look it's really nice it's cute very cute I'm sorry this is a look but I also want to go over my facial hairs I you pretty much use the ones from the base game um, I think my favorite base game hair is this one my favorite ones that I use in my game are these ones from green llamas they have like a beard set of three this is that one I also love to use these ones from Bob newbie and then golly ha ha especially this one like this one I just I love this one and then I love to use this one in, like my older male sins that I want to make it look like they're aged and stuff like that. Like that's, those are my favorite, but that's pretty much all of the facial hairs that I have. Oh, and then this one by Khadijah551 and is another one. It's just really cute, very simple. Okay, so moving on to clothes, a lot of the creators do overlap with the shoes and the hair and certain accessories that I use. So I pretty much gotta keep it in the same ecosystem. But one of my absolute favorite male CC clothes creators is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. I love using their CC because all of their CC kind of gives like sophisticated, you know, guy. And one thing I always look for when I'm going like CC shopping, um, especially for male clothes is versatility in like swatches and so what I mean by that is like you see how we have like all of these different swatches and then we have like some plain um, regular colored ones I love to use that but so it keeps my like CC folder small in a way but because I have all this variation I can put on pretty much anything I want like 
none of my sheets my sims will be well they'll look similar i guess in aesthetic clothes wise but like the color the colors and the swatches and like the patterns on some of them helps to switch it up so i usually don't go for cc that has like actual like english words on it um but gorilla 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 is the only exception and they have like a lot of cardigans and sweaters and nice like dress shirts and stuff like that and the one thing i like about their stuff though is that you might have like especially when it comes to like the jacket items you'll see like they'll have a jacket on and they'll have like only a few swatches and things like that but if you go into accessories they have it to where you can change the undershirt so like you know like just the ability to customize their stuff is like really 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 good like i love it this cc creator is actually a one that is a lot newer in my game and that is rona sims like oh my gosh it's kind of like similar to gorilla 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 the next creator is Sudal sims and they have quite a bit of swatches on their stuff like this cardigan like ooh, it eats them up it eats it up child like oh yes the next creator is actually KK's Sims and they have a nice variety. At first I found them because I needed some more like formal top options, which they have a lot of, but I just love their stuff. Like this cardigan is one of my favorites. Like this swatch right here. Oh my gosh. I love this suit jacket. Um, this is a part of the tuxedo set which I really do be needing because I for the most part I if I'm not using CC I'm definitely using the in-game stuff which I'll get into in a minute I'll get into like my favorite like expansion packs for male clothing but uh, like this tuxedo is so nice like I'm definitely going to be using this on um, one of my male sims in the upcoming video you'll definitely see like this is so nice to me like yes this one is like giving really sophisticated like billionaire man like oh man this one i feel like is my default for if i'm not using like a suit set from the base game i'm using this top and some bottoms another creator i use is c productions i don't have all of their clothing in my game but i do have like certain collections and then i have adrian pastel now one thing about adrian pastel like they have their own like unique pieces but some of their stuff is like recolors of like base game items or not base base game but like game items pieces that come in the actual game itself with all the expansion packs but you'll see like a nice variety of colors for like items that you be like i kind of i remember that in the game i love this top next up we have new crest who does like a lot of variation so he has like so they have um items that like are essentially kind of the same thing but has that variation depending on what you want so this is from the aquarius collection so essentially it's the same shirt but like done a bunch of different ways and it has a lot of different swatches and they are also ones that do like recolors of some of the um ea items and then also they'll do like add-ons so in addition to a pack they might like capture the vibe like this is nice they might capture the vibe and then add on to some items with it so like some of these items i believe this is like a base game item if i'm not mistaken this comes in the base game but they gave it some more like swatches and then also with some of these um items they have like accessory add-ons to where you can like add a shirt underneath so so some honorable mentions are um a harris o britney aretha b diorios especially um this one i think is actually like my favorite one from them because it has like that nice layered look um especially and also this coat yes and then it's top aladdin the simmer this is part of one of their more recent collections i can't think of the name of it right now off the top of my head but i really do enjoy this it's like a nice a lot of nice like basic shirts last but certainly not least we have wootsuru i believe that's how you pronounce it i love this hoodie this i add to like my more like bougie sims like if i was going for like a like a 70s you know like millionaire look like i go for that 
And then, like I said, this one, they use Simlish on their things. So it's not like, oh my gosh, it doesn't feel out of place. It very much feels like it fits into the game, you know? I also want to quickly mention that for bottoms, I use the exact same um, creators. Um, a lot of those bottoms are like come in the sets with the other their other clothing. My favorite pair of bottoms is actually from Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. It is these. I'm pretty sure you've seen my sim wear them. This is probably like my go-to pair. I have, there's the belted version and then they have an unbelted version. And these are that and it comes in a ton of different swatches. I mainly use like the tan ones and then like the black ones and then maybe like this green pair. Moving on to shoes. I don't have too many in my, too many different creators in my game, but my favorite pair of shoes are these ones from Madlin. They kind of remind me of like Converse in a way. I really love these shoes and then I use the GS like men's footwear I think men's footwear pack so it comes with like boots these are like my favorite sneakers um, these sandals and I do I do want to say I do use like her um, her foot replacement for formal shoes I use these from Serenity they're from the, like I think it's called the Canelia collection and so I use those it has a ton of different swatches to match with everything, but I really just use like these top three up here. And then last but certainly not least, we have our accessories. So I'm going to start with like the top half of the body. So we have like the piercings. I use the ones from like the base game. If I'm going to put a piercing, it's going to be this one, this ring piercing from C Productions. But I love these like earrings from Praline. Um... So especially when I want to give like my sims like a pierce look like this is what I'll use but I usually kind of just use like the simple base game hoops or something like that um, I also like this necklace from that collection as well and like it just gives like that luxe like opulent you know like I got money and swag vibe and I love it for glasses I pretty much use the base game ones but I love this pair from Gorilla 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 just really nice I feel like they're very versatile sometimes they can look like they're like kind of floating off of the face but it just depends on like your nose like but yeah I don't have a lot of stuff for like my male sims but like the key thing is having like items that have like a lot of different swatches like that is the most important element to me so I can I can have all these different you know I don't have to have like a crap ton of CC items in my game as long as they have like a bunch of different swatches and they're easier to keep up with, you know? So a little briefly about like my process for creating male sims. I don't have like this extravagant like thought provoking process. Like I kind of just sometimes sit in the game and will randomize sims. Sometimes I'll come across like someone and I'm like, oh, you know what? I kind of like them. Let me, let me start with something. So I always go in, take off like hair, any accessories, even clothes strip them down and swing but yeah I start with that and then like I'll look at them be like okay is there anything I want to keep on their face or anything like that one thing I always I'm gonna do is shrink that head size I don't know what it is about sims having like super big heads and whatnot but I gotta shrink it down but that, that's like the first thing I'll do sometimes I'll like randomize a nose if I want to make sure like I'm using something different or if I have a specific nose I want to use I'll go in and then I'll go in with like jaw Eyes are like one of the most important parts to me because I feel like it really does shape how the person looks. Let me use these eyes. Then I'll go in and I'll look at like skin tones. Like as I have like just a general base of what I'm going for. So I'll go and look at skin tones and be like, okay. Then I like trying to think about hair color and things like that. I think I'm gonna do, I kind of want to make him like a blonde guy. Hmm. So I'll have that and then I'm gonna go into skin details i think i'm gonna do this one this skin blend uh, okay i like it facial hair i'm just gonna start tinkering around um i always add my spotlight nose and then i'm gonna go into the details i think i'm gonna do a two-tone lip I like that okay let me give him some blush <laughs> a deeper shade I don't want it to be too vibe too okay yeah that's fine okay i kind of like this i kind of like this okay but like this is how i would like this is pretty much like how i start my process sometimes i will go in with a reference picture but other than that like i probably won't so this is what we're working with at this point it's not my best work 
I would say, but definitely gonna keep him. He can go on my game as a, a random town townie, but this is what we're working with. Terrence, I kind of like Terrence Britton. We'll do self-assured, hate children and ambitious. And this is Terrence Britton. He is definitely not a part of the sim dump, but these three gentlemen are Dean, Kendrick Knapp, who I think is my favorite. It's, it, you know, I, I think I love all of them, honestly. And Orlando Fox and like, I'm sorry, tell me he's not given like movie star. You don't have to keep him like this, whatever, but in his description, I made him a movie star. So in my game, he's a movie star, all right? That is all of my created sim favorites and how I make my male sims or like the process for my male sims. So I'm quickly gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to add these sims into your game. So this is how you're going to take the files that I gave you and put them in your game so you can get your gorgeous male sims. Okay, so first things first, you're going to download the files and I'm most likely going to have it linked on my Tumblr page. So I'll have the link in the description box below where you'll find like all the links to my cast creators and the links to the sim dump. So first you're going to download the sims you want. I have all three right here. So, and then you're going to extract them. Okay, now once they're extracted, if you look in the folder, you'll see that there's another folder, there's a mod, it says mods, and then you'll see a bunch of like other things in here. And so what these are is the tray files, and then this is the mod. So you'll see like all of the things that I use for that particular sim. So what you're gonna do is you're going to locate your mods folder. So what you do is go to documents, then you're gonna go to electronic arts, the sims 4 and then to your mods folder and excuse the mess this is how i organize my mods i'm in the process of reorganizing them so what you're going to do is take this folder so i'm going to move it and you're just going to move it into your mods folder drag and drop and that's in there and then you're going to locate your tray file so going back to the sims 4 folder tray file and you're just going to copy and paste these in here now because i already have these in here i'm just going to say skip these files and then when you launch the game you would go to your library look at households and make sure you have includes custom content on so you so you'll be able to see the sim pop up and you'll be able to see dean or kendrick or orlando and then of course you just place them in your game and continue to play with them if you want to edit them and change stuff and take certain things away that's completely fine like at this point like there are your sims so that is all for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the description box below if you're going to download any of the sims in a sim dump let me know which ones you're going to download if you're going to download one two or even all of them i would love to know which one is your favorite and whatnot but anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye